Hello, I'm Aaron Zeller with SCC. I'm really excited to tell you about our newest fuel flow control valve, the VKO. This is a terrific new product from SCC designed to address a specific vacuum in the market for an oil flow control valve that's high quality, that's repeatable, and that's available. The VKO is available as a standalone valve for use in basic linkage applications by simply connecting a crank arm available from SCC to the shaft right here. It's also available as a VA or valve actuator assembly, often used with linkageless applications where an LMV3 or an LMV5 would be used for precision control of the burner. It's also available with standalone actuators uh, that aren't part of a linkageless system like the SQM4 and SQM5. The VKO comes in two basic variants. One is UL listed for use with number two oil. The other is not UL listed, but it's designed for and suitable for number four and number six oil and liquid propane. They're all rated to 500 PSI and they're corrosion resistance, resistant so they can be used outdoors. Valve position is clearly visible with the position indicator shown on the top similar to other products from SCC and Siemens. And this valve has a 90 degree stroke, matching up very nicely with the most common control actuators on the market. The VKO is available with crank arm kits for linkage applications, both with discrete and adjustable versions, all available from SCC in a variety of sizes and shapes. And as valve actuator assemblies, featuring the most common Siemens control actuators. They come in two basic body sizes. The VKO1 is the small size, which includes 3 8 inch NPT connections with seven different port sizes. The capacities on the VKO1, or the small, range from about 40 horsepower to 1600 horsepower, or in other terms, about 1.5 million to about 56 million BTUs per hour. Note that capacities vary widely based on the fuel and the pressure available through the valve. The VKO3, or the large body size, comes with three quarter inch NPT connections and in four different port sizes. Capacities on the VKO3 range from approximately 600 horsepower to approximately 4,000 horsepower, or in other terms, 22 million BTUs per hour to about 150 million BTUs per hour. Again, varying quite a bit based on the fuel and the pressure available. The VKO11 and VKO31 are both UL approved with number two oil. The VKO10 and VKO30 are designed for use with number four and number six oil and liquid propane. Now UL approval for B20 is pending currently and we expect to have that in the near future. The part number structure is similar to most other Siemens and SCC products. The first three characters VKO simply represent the model of the product being discussed. The next character will be a one or a three differentiating the small body from the large body. The next character then is a zero or a one for the type of fluid that the valve is designed for and approved to be used with. The next three characters here represent the port size. There are currently 11 different port sizes across the two bodies. The next character at this point is just an additional descriptor in case of future differentiation to allow some variety as the product line expands. And then finally, a U or an N at the end of the part number represents whether it's UL listed and UL approved or whether it's not. Note that not every combination of these numbers is an actual product that can be delivered. So pay attention to the literature for details on which are available and which are not. Some additional specifications that may be interesting include the media temperature. On the UL approved VKO, that fluid can be 10 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. On the non-UL approved version, it can be anywhere from 10 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The ambient temperature where the valve is installed should be between 10 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum static pressure of the valve body is 500 PSI and the maximum differential pressure across the valve is also 500 PSI. And according to ASTM 396, up to 5% biodiesel can exist in number two oil and still be acceptable in the UL approved version. 
Installation instructions are pretty straightforward. There are no mounting restrictions. The inlet is labeled with an I and the outlet is labeled with an O. And we recommend a, a 50 micron or 270 mesh or finer filter upstream to protect the valve from contaminants in the fuel. There are two through holes in each valve body to allow you to mount it to a rigid surface so that the weight of the valve doesn't have to be just fully supported by the piping. Clockwise shaft rotation increases flow. Of course, we accommodate for that when we, uh, when we build these into VA assemblies. And there is absolutely zero maintenance required. In summary, the VKO is an oil flow control valve that will offer consistent and repeatable performance, enabling your burners to perform just as you expect. And it will be in stock. This product is launching in November of 2021 and it may take a few weeks to catch up to current market demand. But before long, these will be on the shelf and in stock for quick delivery and the short lead times that you've come to expect from SCC. Thank you for taking some time to learn about the VKO valve. If you're already convinced and ready to purchase now, or if you just have additional questions, please contact your Siemens combustion salesperson. You can also always contact our customer service group directly at 224-366 8445 or by email at customer service at sccombustion.com. Thank you again for watching. Have a terrific day.